Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we renovated our little office and we bought and sold our first house. Now it's time to dump it in, uh, to jump into <laughs> words are hard. A little bit of a bigger project. We did one of the little tiny houses last time. Let's bump up to something a bit bigger. Maybe something like, I don't know. Maybe the the house with uninvited guests. This thing probably has like cockroaches or something. <laughs> Let's go try it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely cockroaches. Oh, nasty. That's going to be disgusting. So let's uh, before I dive into actually, uh, you know, cleaning the place up and everything, let's see what we're dealing with. We got a yard that's overgrown and filled with weeds and stuff like that. That'll have to be mowed. No problem there. We've got a very... Uh, the, like, how do you end up with wine bottles and stuff in the bathroom? What do you do? I don't even want to know. We got all sorts of stuff over here. A double door that leads into a kitchen and living room with all sorts of, like, nasty cockroaches and stuff like that. And then this goes out back? Yeah, okay. So this is all going to have... Oh, and there's another room over here. Okay, so this is going to be probably like a bedroom. A wall that we'll have to clean up, etc., etc. So let's think about this a little bit. We could probably make this a kitchen and living room, as it is now, but we'll get all new furniture and stuff like that. This can probably stay as a bedroom. This can probably stay as a bedroom, and this... Honestly, we can probably keep this layout. I don't think we need to knock down any walls or anything like that. We just need to essentially clean the place up and make it not nasty. So let me get to cleaning. Let me get the lawn mowed and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll see what is next. All right. Grass is mowed. House is cleaned. I've cleaned up all the garbage, gotten rid of all the roaches, patched all the holes in the walls, given everything a good wipe down. Uh, I don't think any of the windows need to be washed. Doesn't look like it in this house, so that's good. That's another thing. I mean, at this point, we are basically... Oh, I see I missed a dirt spot. Right there. There we go. Uh, so now everything is perfectly clean which is wonderful. So now we can start actually working on building everything and uh, painting and decorating and figuring out what we're going to do with each room. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just basically paint the entire house white for starters. We're probably going to end up going with a different color in the two bedrooms. Um, but I think the bathroom... Hmm... Actually, maybe not. Maybe we'll go white in the entranceway here. We'll maybe go white in the bathroom, and then we'll paint the bedrooms and the living slash uh, the living room slash kitchen, which will be over here. Maybe we'll paint those a different color, like a maybe like a beige, something like that, something light for sure. I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with it. And then we'll see where we're at. So I've chosen all the doors. They're all black in some form or another. Nice and plain. This one that leads from the sort of entranceway into the living and the living room and kitchen is a sliding door and so on. And as for paint, I went with sort of a beige in the living room, white in the hallway, uh, a light green. I think this is flower bud or something it's called. Uh, white in the bathroom, and then in here, this is like a faded lemon. It's a little bit of a yellowish color. So everything's good. Now it's just a matter of actually putting in furniture, putting in appliances, etc. And then I think we'll probably do something with the garden on this one. Plant some trees and maybe make like a little barbecue area and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, I think I'm just going to start putting in furniture and we'll go from there. Well, I've got the bathroom all finished up, and I think it is looking pretty good. So we went with another sort of built-into-the-wall shower over here. I uh, got our toilet over here. Some reading material, extremely important, as anyone who has ever had a bathroom knows. 
reading and reading material is the single most important thing. Uh, and then I went with kind of a cedar theme for the mirror and the sink and the shelves and all that kind of stuff. So white with cedar highlights, it's okay. Um, it'll get the job done. It's, again, a fairly small space to work with, but uh, pretty good sized for a bathroom, and it has everything we need. So I think the next thing I'm going to tackle is the living room and kitchen. Living room and kitchen are done. I actually really like how this turned out. So I decided to do like a little tiled section for the kitchen and then mark it out with a separate texture with a different tile and then carpet the rest of the living room with like a beige carpet. And I think that really kind of created a nice effect where you still have the kitchen area very kind of sectioned off and you can see sort of where the kitchen begins and the living room ends, but it's still all very open and it's not actually blocked off with physical walls. So I think that worked out like really well. I'm super happy with it. Um, and then we put in a fireplace some cabinets uh, went with cedar uh, throughout here for all the different wood. All the different uh, cupboards and cabinets and tables and shelves and stuff are all cedar. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really well. I like it. So now I'm going to go ahead and tackle the two bedrooms. And then after that, we'll have to tackle the entranceway and any sort of outdoor stuff, garden, patio, any of that kind of stuff that we want to do. Let's get to it. First bedroom is all finished up. And I like it. It worked out well. We went uh, American Elm for all the wood furniture in here. Threw down a little carpet, put it some, put up some uh, curtains and stuff. Nothing super fancy. There's a little picture hiding back here. Plants, you know, etc. But it's nice and simple. Fills the room and looks pretty nice. I wouldn't mind sleeping in this bedroom. Check it out. Second bedroom is done. I decided to go with black wood for uh, pretty much all the furniture. Went with black curtains, just had kind of a black theme going on, and then a white rug with another nice double bed. We added in a TV into this room as well. But all in all, it's a pretty solid bedroom. I like it. Gets the job done. Uh, so now I'm going to tackle this little entrance way here and I think we're going to do this together just because it's such a small area and it won't take very long so let's just see if we go uh I'd like like a hanger of some sort some sort of like wall coat hanger type deal maybe something like this that might work put that like right about there so that when you walk in you have a place to hang up your coat and all that kind of stuff um maybe we put a bookshelf over here, what have we got for bookshelves? Let's try bookcase. Since the game is weird and it's like, hey, how would you like different colored things? Let's maybe go cedar, since you can see in there. And this will match. There we go. Nice little bookcase. And then maybe here we put like a painting of some sort. What would be nice? Maybe... Some sort of landscape? Ah, that might work. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, cool. So this little area then is done as well. Nice and simple. Uh, doesn't have to be anything super crazy fancy. But at this point, the interior of the house is completely and totally done. So all that's left to do is a backyard, uh, and front yard, any sort of like landscaping and stuff like that that I want to do. All right, after a bunch of time, I think I've got the yard to about where I want to be. So I basically just plant. So I basically just planted a bunch of uh, shrubs, you know, conifers, stuff like that, things like that, etc. I planted a little flower bed over here along the house in the back. Added a little dog house. Added a uh, a swing added a hammock, grill, dog bed, and then back here there's like a little uh, pergola gazebo type sitting area as well. So uh, this I think should be okay. Everything should be good. Let's go ahead and try and sell the house at this point. Uh, that one. There we go. Submit for a garden contest. We're going to go for the American Garden because I think that's probably the uh, the one we're going for. Oof. Not so great. Uh, 
The thing with the garden contests is that you need to fulfill like specific things like I to, to do well in the American one you basically have to put in like a pool for example um, but yeah it's fine we get a little bit more value out of the house 7.5% so let's go for it and put the house on auction we have a grand total of roughly looks like 75,000 into this house which isn't Terrible. Uh, 75, although we sold about 10,000 furniture. So we have about 65 into this house. We'd be making about 37,000. Let's see if maybe we can haggle just a little bit. See if maybe I can get like an extra 2,500. Just a little. Let's try it. There we go. So we'll make 40,000 in profit. Not too bad. I'm happy with it, and we shall accept the offer. Look at that. Look at that lovely kitchen and living room. I actually really like that room a lot. That one might be my favorite for how it turned out. Not too shabby, my friends. Another house renovated, cleaned up, and made quite livable and quite nice, in fact. I, I actually really like this house. Uh, turned out pretty well. All right, time to pick out another house. Let's see what we have to work with here. So maybe, and I do have, for anyone who's wondering, I do have all the DLC. So we've got the HGTV houses. We've got the apocalypse houses. We've got the garden houses. We've got all this, all the things. Uh, let's maybe go with the house after the home and car. Old lady's house. Let's do the old lady's house. This sounds like a good plan. I wonder what this is going to look like as far as the interior. It could end up being pretty bad. Some of these uh, houses have just like the most hideous interiors you've ever seen. All right, so obviously we got to mow the lawn. That's not a big deal. Doesn't look uh, too, too bad. There's some... Ooh, I already see colors I don't like. Okay, let's see what we're working with. So we gotta wash the house, we gotta mow the lawn, that's all fine. Let's pop inside. Looks like we're gonna have to replace some doors. We have pictures and random furniture everywhere. This will all have to be cleaned. That's a little much. Kitchen area, just go up. Okay, that goes out the back. Bedroom, closet area. There are so many rooms and so many walls. We're definitely going to have to open this up a bit. Lots of bedrooms. And then this is back to the... Okay. So that's basically the house. We've got one, two, three bedrooms right now. A decent-sized living room, kitchen, dining area, and then one bathroom? Yeah one bathroom. Okay, so yeah, we're going to definitely be doing some wall demolitions. We've got some cleanup to do, lawns to mow, probably going to sell all these uh, cabinets and stuff. Um, I don't think there's really any furniture here that I want to keep. I'll probably just strip out the whole house again like I usually do, and uh, then we'll start working on things. So I'm going to get it all cleaned up and ready for renovation, and then I'll be back. All right, my friends, the lawn is maintained. The doors and everything inside the house have been sold. I've patched up the walls, etc., etc. Now we are ready to actually start doing things to the house. So first and foremost, I know that I want this wall right here to go away. So the kitchen area and what was the dining room, we're just going to tear this whole wall out and open up this space a bit, because I think that is a good idea. There are too many walls in this house, for my taste. There we go. So that's the end of that. That'll open this space up quite nicely. Now, uh, I think I'm going to do the same with this wall right here. Uh, can we just get rid of this whole thing? I think so. There we go. And... That one. And there. There we go. So that's now opened up as well. 
much better. Now, there, we have decisions to make. I mean, we've got that opened, which is great, but we need to decide, do we want to have, do we want to stick with three bedrooms like we have here? Or do we maybe want to go like two bedrooms and an office? That could be nice. We could go like two bedrooms and an office. Or something. Hmm. Let me decide what I want to do. Let me start tearing out some more walls and stuff like that, and then we'll go from there. After some thought, I think I've got it figured out. So this will be our kitchen over here. This is going to be our dining room, which is pretty similar to how it was when we bought the house. This bedroom, I push the wall back, and this is going to become an office instead. And then we'll still have a bedroom, a bedroom, and a bathroom. Um, but that way we've got a nice big kind of open kitchen, living room, dining room area. We'll have a nice office space and everything else will be good to go as well. So now we got to get to painting and I think I'm just going to go ahead and paint everything white for starters and then, you know, decide on specific colors and things like that for there. From there, once I get, uh, you know, stuff figured out, maybe bedrooms again will go different colors. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. House painted. Also, I forgot to mention in the last clip, I swapped the floor out for, uh, I think it's called like zebra wood or something like that. It's kind of this nice light, lightish. It's somewhere in between like a light and a dark, which is quite nice. I think it'll it'll work really nicely for the floor. We we very well may be, do, may be doing like some sort of tiled uh, something for the kitchen, and we'll, we'll definitely be doing a tile in the bathroom. Don't know what yet. But we'll find out. If we look at, like, floor tiles, could just go real simple and go with, like, a like like a nice, bright white tile like that. I think that could actually look pretty good. Maybe we'll go with that. But anyway, next step is to start filling in doors and start filling things into the rooms. Now that I have everything painted, I'll decide on colors once uh, we get a little bit further along. Kitchen, dining room, and living room finished. And then we've got kind of like this little hall space over here uh, that I will do something with. We've got these two kind of empty spots in the wall that don't look great. Maybe we could put like a book shelf? Is it under shelf? Yeah, it's under shelf. Maybe we could go like uh, white wood. Here we go. We could put like one of these maybe right there. And then over here, maybe we put like a picture. Uh, that's nice and like modern-ish, kind of, sort of abstract. That'll work. There we go. That way this is actually spruced up a little bit and it's not completely blank and barren. So next, we could tackle the office. We do have two bedrooms as well, and then we've got the bathroom. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to tackle the bathroom first. Well, I think I'm happy with the bathroom. It, door, please. <laughs> um, pretty straightforward. Shower, toilet, sink, mirror, towels. Uh, added a radiator because there was some space over here and you couldn't really fit a, um, like a cabinet or anything like that, that without making it seem too big. Um, decided to paint the walls like a light peach color because it was just too white in here. There, there wasn't enough uh, color of any kind. It was all basically white and black and gray, which sometimes works, but it, it, I don't know. It just wasn't doing it for me. So I changed the wall color, and I think it works. I think this is fine. I think it's okay. It's not a, um, a vibrant sort of garish color that jumps out at you. It's not a very strong color. So something like this, it's still a fairly, neutri uh, a fairly neutral color. It'll get the job done just fine. Uh, but there we go. There's the bathroom taken care of. Now, the first bedroom. All right, first bedroom taken care of. Nice and simple. Just, just as simple as can be. I think uh, this is Sapel wood for the bed and the side table and the wardrobe and the dresser. Um, put a little painting over there blinds, ceiling fan, and then to fill this space, I went with a little dog bed. So nothing too crazy. Um, you know what else this could use, though, now that I'm kind of looking at it? I think we could use a rug. 
Let's maybe go like pretty large. Something maybe like that. What if we flipped it that way? Nah, not liking that either. Uh, you know what we could do, actually? Here's a thought. What if we just went with a carpet? And maybe, like, blue? Get some color in here of some sort? Yeah, there we go. That's what it needed. Okay, now we have a nice little bedroom in here. I like it. Just finished the second bedroom, and it's okay. Um, went with Vengewood, which is like this kind of dark purplish-brownish color. Um, I don't know. It's okay. It's a pretty small space to work with, so I didn't have room for a double bed if I wanted to fit anything else. So it was kind of, I mean, I, I think it's a single bed, even though it has two pillows. Um, but I don't know. It works out. Gets the job done. A bedroom is a bedroom. So the last thing that I have to do now is the office. And then the house will pretty much be ready. I'm going to skip the garden on this one as well. Uh, let's go. And here's the office. Went with a metal corner desk. Uh, put a little computer set up here. Threw in some shelves. Added in some bookshelves over here. Little garbage can. Couple windows. Little carpet. Safe down here. A Couple little decorations like some books and stuff. But nice and simple, and I really love the effect that you get with the sliding glass door where you can see inside and see that it's a nice little office space. So all in all, I think the house is pretty much done at this point. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the yard. I, I mowed it, but that's all. Uh, and that won't earn us any garden points or anything. But all in all, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, living room, dining room, and office. Nice and simple. Let's sell the house. Let's see here. Put on auction. Okay, so we put roughly... 95,000 into this house, give or take. And looks like we'll get about 20,000 backs. Uh, we'll get about 20,000 back. That seems fine, I guess. I, I mean, I don't really need the money. <laughs> The money is irrelevant, it's really just about seeing if we can create things we like. So, I'm good with it. Let's accept the offer. And now we get some nice before and after pictures. Eh, that one's okay. I was hoping for a, a different view, but that's alright. I think it all worked out pretty well. little outside picture. Eh. I think overall the house turned out pretty well. I like it. It had kind of a modern feel to it, which is nice. We'll have to try some other sort of um, aesthetics. See if we can do like a rustic one or something in the future. But I think that's about it for this one. I'm out of time. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in, links in the description below, so check that out as well. I can't English my own outro. Terrible. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.